A well thought out story with infinitely vast world building and characters deeper than the pit I am in mentally and emotionally often constitutes a long running story with many different arcs and seasons. One Piece has some of the deepest world building in not just all of anime, but all of storytelling period. Wherever you look, you can find two and two that connect with a certain fluidity that you can't get from just a story. A lot of the things in One Piece, disregarding the rubber dudes, mythical creatures, and flame breathing dragons of course, feel like they could have actually happened in a world far from ours. Even something like Haikyuu, which isn't that deep, tells a story with an ultimate end goal. And people often come to anime in search of those deep, long-running shows. It also gives them something to feel comfort in by expecting a new episode every week. But there's another form of storytelling that is almost the exact opposite. It isn't deep at all, with little to no importance in really anything, and therefore it's unpopular. Yet, it is somehow often just as good, if not better. Short-form anime are often big turnoffs for people. Listen to this scenario. Does this sound familiar at all? You are in search for an anime to feed your degenerate brain that is craving more. You scroll and scroll, but struggle to find anything that catches your eye. You realize that you have been scrolling for kind of an unreasonable amount of time. Then, finally, you find something with an interesting promotional art. You click on it and read the synopsis. Wow, this is really intriguing. Let's give it a shot, you think to yourself. You scroll down to click on an episode, and then you see the doomful three. 7 or 12 M I N. And then you instantly back out and look for something else. Yeah? Because this happened to me for a very long time. I put off Tsure Tsure Children for a long time because of this. I put off Tonari no Seki kun for a long time because of this. But recently, in my thirst for something new, because I quite frankly have dried the well called New Interesting Anime, I turned to the short form anime that I have put off for so long. To my surprise, they were some of the best I have seen. I thought that it could just be those two shows that were good, so I searched for more. I indulged myself to some seriously obscure ones like The High School Life of a Futanshi and My Sweet Tyrant, and I ended up enjoying every single one of them. Whenever I see an anime YouTuber talk about an anime, it is often one with a defined story and standard length episodes, but they never give short forms any love. So today, I know Boakoa will be talking about the criminally underrated subsect of short formed anime, and will be also telling you just how good they are and exactly why. Watch till the end for a list of my personal favorites. And if you come to agree with me, or just enjoy the content, leave a like and subscribe. It helps out a lot more than you may think. Short form anime is, as you can imagine, anime in shorter lengths. Normal episode lengths are around 24 minutes with the opening and ending taking up 3 minutes with each one being 90 seconds. Normally, short form anime come in 3 different lengths, half lengths at 12 minutes per episode, third lengths at 7 minutes per episode, and finally, ones that are 2 to 3 minutes in length. And since they don't have enough time to build deeper connections through heavy emotional backstories, they often do so subtly through comedy and slice of life. And I think it heavily benefits from this. Because they are efficient and subtle in doing so, it quickly and naturally creates relationships. It sounds counterintuitive because they have no time to give us a slow burn affection of a good character over a long time, but think about it. They don't have the time to do those, so instead, they need to incorporate character building into the main story. And that is how characters should be done. I cared about every single character in My Sweet Tyrant after just the first episode, versus Haikyuu where I just could barely bring myself to only give a surface level shit about them. That weird paradoxical phenomenon occurs due to the short form story's different focus. Due to not having enough time, not only do they lack the time needed for slow character building, they also don't have enough time to fully flesh out a plot. So they often focus on gag and slice of life. Slice of life makes you care about them on a personal level because you get a feel of their everyday lives. This makes you care about what happens in their lives even if it is just mundane nothingness. Another direct benefit of this style of anime is that nothing really matters. Nothing lasts, nothing matters, and it therefore takes itself less seriously. And in return, it is self-aware. Just my favorite. 
Self-awareness is the most crucial part of a show that can even turn a stupid one into unironic cringe comedy. A show can be shitty and have a stupid plot and still be good as long as it has self-awareness. For example, the high school life of a fudanshi. That anime follows the main character who is a fudanshi, which is a whole subgenre of otaku who love BL and yaoi. While it is normally fujoshi, or girls who like BL and yaoi, who like that genre, this story follows a straight guy who does. It's a stupid plot. It has no real basis for a good story. Yet, it was still super fun with lots of self-aware cringe comedy. It did exactly what it was meant to do by telling the high school life of a fudanshi. It was fun the whole way through and I oddly learned a lot about that culture. Not to mention, it only took me 36 minutes to finish. The absolute pinnacle of short form anime that the most amount of people have seen is the disastrous life of Psyche K. Psyche K is a vignette style anime about Psyche Kasuo who is a psychic, but he just wants to live life like a normal dude. The show follows him and his group of exotic friends who make that quiet life just a distant dream for him. You might not be thinking that this is a short form anime because the episodes are of standard length, but within each episode is made up of multiple shorter stories of him that are often connected and often not. And that show was received very well because it still had 24 minute episodes, while in reality, it was a short form. There seems to be this short form phobia in the anime community, and it pains me that these hidden gems go so unnoticed. I also noticed that short forms are dropped faster and more often, which is strange because you would expect it to be easier and faster to watch. But if the short form doesn't grab you in the first two episodes, so like 5 minutes, people seem to drop it. You should really just give them a shot since most of them aren't supposed to be deep and are just lighthearted fun. And even if they do end up being really bad, it's only gonna take you an hour max. There are also many standard length anime that can really benefit from the short form format. Let's talk about Nichijou and Life Lessons with Uramichi Onichan. Those two anime were heavily comedy based with Nichijou being the what the fuck did I just watch type and Uramichi Onichan being somewhat relatable self deprecating type. But my problem with those were that they were too long and that they got repetitive and boring after a while. I started both of the shows over 6 months ago and I'm still only at like episode 5 for both of them. I just can't bring myself to watch more than that. It became boring and not worth watching after a while. If it was a short form, I could either binge it in one sitting or just watch one or two episodes every once in a while without having to stop in the middle of an episode. Now you can argue that Nichijo already is one, but I would argue otherwise. While each episode in Nichijo is split up into smaller bits and parts, they are more like segments of the same routine. A part with the main three girls, Helvetica Standard, and something about Hakase and Nano. Every. Single. Episode. You can't really split it up into random bits where one episode follows the main cast and the next is Helvetica Standard. And that's the reason they didn't. Instead, they kinda need to pack all of that into one episode. And while they do make the most of what they have, I think a simple format change would have heavily benefited it. Uramichi Onichan was honestly really similar to Psyche K, even the MC's voice actors are the same. Other than that, they both had a really similar style of comedy and structure, with the smallest little thing called title screens making all the difference. After every short bit, Psyche K had a short intermission title screen with some music. That was a good break for those who wanted to stop, and if not, they could keep going. Nothing like that to definitely separate bits existed in Uramichi Onichan, and because there's no real stopping point, I watch until the end. And then before I know it, it feels like I'm watching just to finish the episode rather than because I found it fun. That trivial detail is what made me love one and drop the other. And I think that is one of the reasons a short form was never really revolting to me. Even if it was objectively bad or boring, I didn't feel bad watching it nor was it super time consuming. And if I wanted to stop, I could just wait out the remaining 30 seconds of the episode and click on another until I felt like watching it again. So I just turn it on while I'm writing a script or doing homework. Even while I was writing the script to this video, I finished like 6 different ones. They are perfect for doing things like that where you are bored and need something to take your mind off of. Anime isn't the only thing that comes in shorter forms though. 
The classic western comic, Calvin and Hobbes, is a perfect example of this in comic form. People look forward to this in the newspapers back when people actually read them. But it was so loved and is so iconic due to its nature of being short and funny. Now, if we translate that to the Japanese and back to English for us Americans in the wild wild west, we have manga. Specifically, one pagers and yonkoma, which are also known as four coma. Yonkoma are manga with only four panels. These serve the same purpose as American comics and newspapers and are supposed to be for quick fun. Some longer manga even sprinkle these in to their character stories, often for an idea or side plot without much substance. However, these yonkoma can also be used for real fleshed out stories. For example, you may know the hit anime Tomochan is a Girl. The original manga has over 900 chapters but each of them consists of only 4 panels. It does follow the main timeline of Jun and Tomo's relationship, but it was split up into the perfect bite-sized pieces that surely moves the story, but only takes a few panels to do so. That too was honestly pretty much a shameless harem with a cute anime waifu who can also beat you up. Easily. But because it was in the short one page format, it felt like an actual comedy. Thinking about it, all of this was part of why adults thought TikTok to be such a huge problem. It was easy to consume, short, and fun. Too fun. Even watching anime on TikTok somehow feels different. Think about all the times you saw an anime clip on TikTok of some random funny moment. Now take that and put it into a mainstreaming service rather than stolen from an illegal pirating website. Now you have a short form anime. Honestly, all of what I just said about TikTok was probably unnecessary. You guys all already know the stupidly big influence TikTok has had on the new generation. The influence is evidently Sigma, Skibbity, um, uh, Slay, yeah, I'm not even gonna try to follow all the new cool shit. I'll stick to scroinking and people pogging. That just left my mouth. Even I, who rarely watches TikTok or shorts, find myself scrolling mindlessly until it's been 2 hours too long that I've spent. And I do the same with short anime, they just capture you in a way that no other really can. Before I make the video about the glories of short form content, ironically long, I'm gonna start ending off. But I also wanted to give you some recommendations on which ones to try. Zida Zida Children is a good coming of age story about multiple different teenage couples in different stages of relationships. The episodes are half length but it has a standard 12 episodes. The high school life of a Fudanshi is exactly what I explained earlier. But it's seriously funny and self aware. Each episode is 3 minutes and it also has 12 episodes. Junior High and High School Kimetsu Academy Story follows the cast of Demon Slayer, but puts them into a modern high school setting. There are only 7 episodes with lengths varying from 1-3 to three minutes, but it was fun to see familiar faces do unfamiliar things. Love is Like a Cocktail follows our heroine who is a stoic serious woman at work but has a silly side that comes out whenever she drinks. And besides the cute moe moments, the show even teaches you how to make the cocktails yourself. Some of them are even non-alcoholic. And even outside of that, just try them if you find it. It'll most likely be fun, and even if it isn't, it won't take too much of your time. So long story short, see what I did there? Short form anime are really good and should be bigger. Way bigger. If you're still here, what are you doing? You could've watched like 5 episodes of the last 3 I recommended. My name is Nobo Okoa, and you should give short things some love. And besides, 5, 7 and a half isn't that short, okay? And thank you for watching. And if you like what you saw here, YouTube thinks that you might like this one too. Or you can watch my review of the highest rated sports anime in Mal, Haikyuu.